Hello and welcome, I'm going to show you how to mod games made in RenPy. For example, the super famous Doki Doki Literature Club. Let's mod that. For that we need to get to the files, so let's go to Properties, uh, right click it on Steam or unzip the zip file, which is uh, free and legal to download from it, for example. Anyways, Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. And in here you have the game folder, I think it's always called Game, in which you will find, usually, .rpa files over here. So we want to mod audio and images, so let's extract these. We cannot just extract them with uh, zip archiver or something, we have to use a tool for that, which you can download conveniently from itch. The link is in the description of this video. RPA extract. Just download it and press the download thing again. And then from here you can drag the RPA extract.exe right in there. And all you have to do is drag the images.rpa onto the RPA extract.exe file. Uh, if, in case you don't see the exe, Make sure to show file uh, name extensions. Anyways, drag and accept and it will take just moments and uh, images will be extracted into a folder and you can modify them. Let's drag the audio also on this RPA extract, run. And now we have background music and stuff like that. Is this the main menu? Yeah, I think that is. I think that is the sound that we heard when the menu starts. So let's start with that. Let's get Audacity. Here we have Audacity. Let me just drag in this file. Uh, we're gonna make it super short. And uh, let's just uh, go to maybe Effect Reverb like crazy. I'm gonna press Ctrl R to repeat it. Okay, that sounds horrible. High pass filter, how about that? Okay, uh, I don't know, maybe low pass filter. Did this do anything? Oh my goodness. Well, this sounds great, doesn't it? Oh boy. Alright, let's extract it with file export and export as OGG. We're gonna make sure to use the same folder. Also make sure to use the same file endings. Again, you have to enable file name extensions to see. Uh, so 1.ogg, let's overwrite this, and yes, and yes, and uh, here we are. So if, if we test the game now, because the file has been replaced, yep, you can hear it. The main menu sound is different already. There should be a sound for this effect. Anyways, let's continue onwards. If we go back, we have graphical user interface folder. And in here we have... Uh, yeah, let's start with this graphic. Let's just load it into GIMP. Alright, let's drag this image in here. Okay, and now we're just gonna... give her angry eyes, I guess. And press Ctrl E to extract and press Enter and replace and Enter and let's test it again. Alright, this intro stuff, I wish we could skip that. And here she is with angry eyes, very good. We can go n uh, nuttier, of course. Let's just delete her entirely with a delete key. And I think, yeah, this is a perfect replacement. Perfect. Extract, I mean export, and uh, let's try this again. Yep, don't be easily disturbed. Alright, red team because this is a lot of fun, let's continue with this and delete everything and replace it with fabulous graphics that I can find. What else is there? Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely needed maybe a different tank. I guess we can rotate this a little, totally realistic and stuff. Did we forget anybody? I, I guess so. Yeah, this guy will do nicely. Alright, I think this mod is complete. Of course, this is only affecting the main menu, so if we want to affect the characters in-game, it's gonna get a little more complicated, but I, I love this. I have an yield, of course. So what do we actually... what's the first thing we see in this game? There we go. Okay, Crying Say Sayori. Let's start modding the actual game, not just the main menu. So for this we go into the images folder and Sayori is over here. Uh, what was she wearing? I do not know... Uh, what's going on with this? 
I think that was her pose. I do not know why this is going on. So at this point it gets a bit more complicated with the modding. I guess we, we still try. So here we drag this character in, position the head. I guess we're gonna delete the head as well. Just so it's all nice and uh, canon. Alright, very nice. Uh, I bet the... Yeah, the lack of a neck is gonna bite us in the, in the back later. Let's move it up a little. And now we're gonna layer, layer to image size, I suppose. And we can put this here. Okay. And we're gonna... Oops. We're gonna cut this out. Again, layer to image size, layer to... Now cut and now paste and create new layer and hide that part. And here we're gonna hide that part and we're, now we're just gonna extract and overwrite these two. Let's just hope this works the way I think it should and hope. Alright, here we are. Nope, that did not work. Let's investigate which... Ah, okay, this kind of image is actually being used here. You know what, we're just gonna replace these. Uh, we can just name this 2LX and 2, uh, 2RX, and then we're gonna make copies of these. We are a lazy modder. Okay, 2L. Okay, and uh, 2R. That ought to do it. Was this enough? Oh, here we go, here we go! Haha! <laughs> and you know what, I'm even more lazy. Oh wait, this requires a separate image. Hmm. So much work. Modding can be a lot of work, especially if the artist... What the heck is going on now? Especially if the art is created in a complicated manner. Whatever. Glitch is the style of this game. This is just pre-shadowing. Can we go back? No. I'm excited about this. Alright. I hope this helps. I hope you make some great mods, please link to them and stuff. I will see you next time. Until then, ciao! I just care too much about modding.